I started at a news network about 17 years ago. I just got a job as a tape operator to begin with, so we were lacing up the big reels for about two weeks and then I saw the news edit suites and I said, oh, can I learn how to cut news? So I went into news editing and then from there just stayed editing and here I am still editing 17 years later. Gosh, I've done everything from documentaries to commercials to branded content. Um, I like to bounce around to a lot of different projects, so I like variety. I'm really, really excited about the new features that are coming to Premiere Pro. Um, I love the fact that it's making it an environment which is more collaborative and more, and more seamless. Today, uh, I'm working on an amazing documentary called Coup 53. I'm working with my hero, Walter Merch, um, an incredible sound designer and editor. I'm also working with a director who's always working on interviews, cutting them down to shorter durations. He then sends us those interviews. I give them to Walter, I put them into Walter's project and he's working on them. So all of us are collaborating together and to, to hear about the new features in Premiere Pro makes us very excited because we think, yes, our jobs are gonna be made much easier. <laughs> I started Calibrate Films in 2012. It was just a way to sort of give me a little bit more freedom to pursue other projects outside of my commercial work. A project I'm working on at the moment through Calibrate actually is a feature documentary. Uh, it's called Fierce and it follows a group of drag queens and one drag king to Texas, USA for the world's first international drag festival. We're in the edit phase at the moment so I'm sort of doing that around my work with Walter on weekends and things, I'll, um, I'm cutting, cutting fierce on Adobe Premiere. I love it as an application, it's so easy to use. For example, when I'm filming the, the feature documentary, I'm out shooting, it's just me and a cameraman, I can take the rushes straight into Premiere on my laptop, no transcoding or anything like that, and just start editing and, and transcribing. And It's just so easy to do in, in Premiere, so I've grown to really love the, the application and it's become my preferred platform. For me, graphics is a really big part of my workflow, so especially working in commercials and branded content, you're often asked as an editor, do you mind doing this little graphic? And it can really help if you know After Effects as well. But Premiere, Premiere Pro, the way that, that, that it makes it so easy is that I can work with Dynamic Link and maybe I do work with a motion designer and they've sent me some graphics, but I can change these right within the application within Premiere Pro, so I don't necessarily need to be whiz-bang in After Effects or know how to create the comp that they've made in After Effects. I can just make my little amends to the text with, right within Premiere Pro, which is incredible. I mean, that's what I love about Premiere Pro. It speeds up the entire process. Everything's so quick. I don't have to transcode my media. I can pull it right in. It's easy to get stuff out of Premiere Pro. I've got team projects. I can be working with other people on projects simultaneously. Everything feels like it's so much faster in Premiere Pro compared to the other applications that I've used in the past. I'm really excited about the social publishing panel. It's in beta at the moment. The fact that I publish so much media to social during the process of making a film. To be able to do all that, put all my metadata in and everything within Premiere Pro and not have to go over to these different social media networks and upload to the different ones, that really appeals to me. So that's a feature I'm really looking forward to. A story can be told in six seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds or 90 minutes. And I just, I just love storytelling. Oh, I'm really excited about the close, close gaps function. I know that's a small thing, but close gaps, I've been waiting for that my whole life. <laughs> you know the feature where oh, you yeah. can just go bing. It's funny yeah. because in a, from a marketing... I know, that's not part of the interview. That's not going in it.